Well, the walls are a bit crusty in there, but not as bad as what I've seen on eBay, though. Not sure what's going on exactly. Such a cool one there. It doesn't miss far enough, and it just gunning and cuts out. But the thing is, I can't find because when it first played up, I had no accelerator. It just idle. That was it. And then I turned it off on the solar rig, started it back up. I could rev it. Driving along, you got your foot in that one position. And it will start jerking and playing up like it's spark or fuel. None of the other. See, it's electronic pedal in here. Plugs into another accelerator pedal over here. That's your flyby pedal computer. So when it warms up, because that's your ECU there, so when it warms up, your fuel relay gets pretty warm, the ignition relay gets pretty warm, um, it's running 60 psi and fuel on the rig, fine, it's all working good, because I was staying here watching it when it cut out, it was still running psi there, I pulled the pipe off over the side of the mud guard, over there where the fuel filter is over there, I pulled it off and had it over the side of the car and squared it. That all worked. That's all good. And then this throttle body thing here will go eh, 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 eh. carry on clicking and banging. And that will start again. But I've got to reset this module here first. So when it cuts out, it cuts me module out. So this is power straight from the battery. Straight over to here. It's my block runs into this block to run the, all the system of the EC, all, all the ECU, all the LS, that's the main wire that runs the whole setup. So I think there's like 40 for ignition, 40 for the two thermo fans, and then 40 for that, and this is only an 80 um, amp switch, so I was thinking about whacking a heavier one in here because it clicks this out which shuts the motor down completely now when I get this thing to click back into when it clicks back in when I reset it I got nothing literally it'll turn the engine over all that stuff but it won't start so I've pulled off the right hand number one spark plug which is over here pull it off off the coil because I have another one inside the car there which I just plug straight in just undo it straight off the coil here, plug it straight in, and it's got no spark until this thing here goes yeah, yeah, click, click, bang, bang, which is the throttle position sensor thing. I'm thinking it may be that, I don't know. Um, it's you know very expensive for one of them, not cheap. Um, so I'm trying to diagnose the problem without spending that sort of money because it is a lot of money. At holding it for a genuine one, it's like six hundred odd dollars, not seven hundred dollars, just for that. It's a whole throttle body and everything. As you can see, it's brand new water pump, thermostat, everything's all brand new, brand new alternator, brand new power steering pump over here. She's all brand new, man. I replaced so much stuff in this thing, and um, you know, the, all the sensors where I know what do all the symptoms, which is your airflow sensor one right here. This is your airflow sensor one. That plugs in there. Um, you got your temperature one right there. And then uh, there's another one at the back of the motor there, which is your cam sensor. And then down that side there, beside the starter motor, is your crank sensor. So there is quite a few um, different things. What can cause a lot of things, that's for sure. So, whatever it's doing, it's cutting out my safety pack where it gets too hot. So when it cuts out my safety pack, it clicks, it shuts the engine down and clicks the safety pack out all at like the same time, pretty much. So I'm not 100% sure on what's going on with it. 
but sometimes it won't click that out and just stop by itself. So I've put in a heavier wire for the fuel pump because that was getting pretty hot. And even though I've hot wired the fuel pump by itself straight to the battery on the side of the road, um, yeah, I've even hot wired this, bypassed this module. So you take this off and bolt it onto there so it bypasses this whole block. Still won't start. Um, the only thing I haven't tested yet, which I've got to let it sit here and warm up, I was going to take my ignition wire, which runs from over there, do 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 do, over to here, which goes from here to the ignition. There is a relay inside the kick panel on the right hand side here, which I was going to just go unplug it and put it straight to the battery and see if that um, stops it from cutting anything out altogether. Um, because you wiggle the wires there, it sort of stumbles a bit and carries on like a jimby buck. So, not sure what's going on there. Um, so, I was just going to hot wire the ignition wire straight to the battery and see if that um, will stop it from playing up. Uh, the earth, I thought I'd do a better earth, which is that white wire where it goes from over there. I did have it bolted just there to the firewall, but I went fuck it on it over straight to the battery so it's straight on the battery uh, another thing is I've only got earths that go to the body from the engine there is no earths on the chassis at all right through the whole car there is no one earth anywhere to the chassis so I'm gonna put two and I'll do one from that head down to the chassis and another one from this head here down to the chassis somewhere not sure where to actually put it to the chassis because there's like a lot of things I might go off that bolt down there and go up over the top here and then down to the chassis somewhere um, yeah I'm doing a bit of research but yeah there's not overly much about it but whatever is going on the ECU does get quite warm sitting here in the engine bay uh, I'm not sure what to do there type of thing but the first thing that's made it all start playing up and everything is when it shut down on the side of the road. It um, loses acceleration, then it just shut down. Now it doesn't even lose acceleration. It's going like the clappers and then she'll just go, I've had enough, and just turn the engine off on you. So I'm not sure what's going on with it, but uh, I'll keep diagnosing problems and hopefully it'll work out one day. All right, take it easy. See ya.